Hey everyone, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're going to check out Broadway Lights from Fable Sounds, which has brass and reeds and some really awesome multis. There's a lot of really cool functions with this library, so we're going to kind of go over that fairly in depth. Uh, before we get started checking this one out, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and of course hit that bell notification icon so you know when we go live with videos and great deals just like this. All right, everyone. So I'm going to start with the trumpet. As you can see, we have a trombone, trumpet, and then a muted trumpet with the Harmon mute. And then we have reeds, alto sax, berry, clarinet, soprano sax, and tenor sax. So I'm going to play a line real quick. I have these other two trumpets muted, so we're only focusing on one trumpet, solo trumpet, right now. So trills are just played in like that. The transitions are recorded just very quickly so that I can just play the trills in instead of having a dedicated articulation to that and play them in all in real time. Now I'm going to talk about some extra things down here. Um, the C0 key right here will trigger a sustain pedal. So... so if I hold that down and then play a note... So you notice the blue keys here, we also have these temporary articulations. So when I hold that down, it'll tell me right here exactly what kind of articulation that's going to play. And then we have falls and grace notes. I also want to point out that the C sharp and the D sharp at the very bottom of the keyboard also act as shift keys. So you can access additional articulations when holding those two down and hitting the key switches for the other articulations. For instance, here I have the F sharp. That's going to be a fall down slow. If I hold down the C sharp and then hit the F sharp, it's going to be a fall down fast. So it increases the speed there, you know, a new set of samples with a fast fall. If I hit the D sharp and then that F sharp, it's going to be a fall up or a doit. So I'm going to now hit the, hold the C sharp and then hit the G sharp key switch. And it's going to be a sforzando with a crescendo. It's going to be a fast crescendo. Now if I hold down the D-sharp and hit the same one, it's going to be a sforzando with a crescendo, a slow crescendo.
So just remember that these two keys down here, the C sharp and the D sharp, normally they'll trigger the staccatissimo and the staccato, but they also act as shift keys to access an entire new set of articulations. So what that's gonna look like, again, just programming this into my piano roll. So I've got this line playing up here and the key switches are down here. So again, remember C sharp and the D sharp is going to access the staccato and staccatissimo. And then this will act as the shift key for this articulation, which will trigger the fall up. So we can see that all here. So as you can probably tell, it's very, very playable. And using those temporary articulations down there, you can get those really nice grace notes, the falls, the hits, stuff like that. And all that will be done. You can either do it live, just playing it in and holding those key switches. Again, the temporary articulation. So it will trigger when you hold that down. Or you can just program it into your doll, into the piano roll. Now, something I do want to mention real quick that I really, really like about this is we have a legato to short articulation. So this one is going to, if you hold it down, that's the staccato. But if I'm playing a legato line and I hold that down, the next note that I will play will be a short note. And it sounds different. These are actually legato transitions recorded to the short note. So it sounds much more realistic than, say, playing a long note, and then programming a short staccato or staccatissimo. So you can hear there just that the hit, the emphasis, the accent on that short note, it makes it just really pop more. It's much better than playing, say, the legato or playing a long note and then going into a short note because you can hear the transition, you hear that short hit. It's really great. Now you'll notice that I have three instruments loaded here. They are all the exact same instrument, the trumpet. Okay, the exact same samples. But what I want to do here is enable my unison section. So that was the main page, the monitor page, where we can set the octaves, turn on the flutter, growl, all of that stuff, the main stuff. Now on the RTO slash section, the RTO stands for real-time orchestrator, and we'll go into that in a second. But right now I'm just going into the section here and hitting that so it's the unison section now. I'm going to do that for all of them. So when I have three instruments loaded up, instead of just you know, getting phasing and or whatnot, we hit the unison section. And then I set that to the position that's one, two, and three. And now we have these three trumpets now playing as a section. You can kind of do this humanize and detuning as well to make it a little bit more natural. I think it sounds great just as it is. All right, so we can do that very easily and get a section out of the exact same instrument. So going back to solo this, just to show you what the flutter sounds like. Now the growl. We can also adjust so the velocity is triggered by how hard I press the key. So harder key presses will be a higher dynamic range or we can just do MIDI CC only. So if I lower my mod wheel, very, very quiet. Raise it up. Works as you would normally expect, so CC01 mod wheel. Um, okay, let's go in and check out one of the multis now with the real-time orchestrator. So I got to this just by going into the multis. 
and we have RTO. So we have a legato multis where each key will be a monophonic legato, polyphonics for sustains and chords and stuff, and then we have real-time orchestrator. So as you know, if the legato it would only trigger one note at a time. The real-time orchestrator allows you to play legato transitions on each section, so you can play chords and say, as we can see, the trumpets, trombones, tenor sax here. So I can have the tenor sax playing legato transitions is the same time as the trombones and the trumpets. So it sounds like this. So another thing with the real-time orchestrator, the key switches at the bottom are going to apply to all of the instruments. So we can also transpose, say, the trombone or the trumpet. We can transpose these things. We can set what uh, areas of the keyboard they're actually going to be triggered by. And then we can also use these key switches down here to apply that articulation to all of the instruments at once. So let's check out some of the other solo instruments. Some of these have some unique articulations as well. So I'm just going to play through some of these. You can hear what they sound like. Uh, we checked out the trumpet. Um, let's check out some of the reeds, and then I'll also check out the trombone. But now I'm just going to turn the mic off and play, and you can hear what everything sounds like. Thank you. 
So one thing I want to mention for the reed instruments also is that if we hit the G down here in the key switch area, it's going to trigger marcato and dirty vibrato, and it sounds like this. So you can end and begin phrases with this articulation. You hear there, I hold the note, and it's legato, sustain, regular note. And then I hit this key, and it ends the note in the marcato and dirty vibrato style. So you get that really realistic, uh, you know, the dirty vibrato, and then the note just ends. It's a very realistic release as opposed to just releasing the key. Thank you. 